that. 50 feet. I went. Strolling. It's a one ounce bink spoon. A little excited. That fish is 24 inches long. Gotta hide it. What's up, fellas? That fish is 24 inches long. That was a one ounce spoon. I'm in about 12 foot of water. I know you're supposed to use them in deeper water, but the big fish like the big spoon for me. Here's my rig. One ounce banks. I got 20 pound fluorocarbon, then 20 pound braid. And I'm just going about a mile an hour to a mile and a half, just snapping it, letting it tap the bottom every time. And I'm in a very, very busy lake. Again, I was going about a mile, mile and a half an hour. 20, 22 incher. Buddy. Again, that was the same as the last one, one ounce Binks Fire Tiger. Had the Binks Spoon and Pole. And these the bait caster style because I got 20 pound braid on it and I'm fishing in some area that's pretty brushy. Um, I mean, I know where the spots are that are not brushed. That's where I'm fishing. Um, but still, I got to bring the fish out of brushy areas. So I usually use an eight pound fire line on my other Binks pole, my spinning pole, but this one I got 20, so I opted for it today. It's a good thing with the size of these today. See, this one I caught on a 3 8 it was pretty shallow where I was casting. It's 17 inches, which is a good fish. It's got to be 15 to keep in this lake. That's a new 3/8 Banks. I got a 20 pound fluorocarbon or mono leader, and then eight pound fire line. And I'm just casting up to a shallow spot. It's probably four or five feet deep, and just snapping the spoon. Incher. And I'm in Missouri today, so that'd be my limit if I was keeping fish. Caught, I think, a 24, 22, and two 17s, 3 8 banks. Now you can throw, I mean, I'll throw, and I've caught a lot of big fish throwing a one ounce spoon up real shallow. Um, I don't know, I just, when I'm fishing four or five feet deep, I feel like I need to have a smaller spoon on. But you can and it'll select for the bigger fish. Now maybe I'll try it, what the heck. There he is. 
17 and a half, 18 inch fish. That one I caught strolling again, and I'm just um, I'm trolling a structure similar to an old road that's pretty long, and I just put my trolling motor on one mile an hour, and I'm following it. Then I'm just you know I cast the spoon out behind the boat, and sometimes I'll have quite a bit of line out. And I'll just keep snapping it and I feel it tap the bottom every, you know, almost every time, maybe one out of three times is okay when I get in a snaggy area. And then uh, when you come back up, the fish will be there or you'll feel the tick. I, I can't remember what happened, but uh, all of a sudden I had a big one on there. Say so that was a pretty good day. I mean, I just fishing after work for a few hours and I caught three, you know, 20 plus inch walleye on the one ounce spoon. And then three about 17 inches and i think most of those were on the uh, three eighths ounce banks fire tiger 